Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in the United States. Good morning in Hawaii, and good evening in Europe. We are featuring today one of the masters of percussion, Vicente Delgado. He's from San Francisco Bay Area. He was brought up playing jazz. His uncle had a salsa band. Vincent Vince is a Mexican-American ethnicity and play jazz. And then all of a sudden, he finds his way. Was it in early 60s, Vince, or mid 60s? Early 60s. Early 60s. Something moves him to the music of Middle East, North Africa, India. He becomes so good in this genre that such masters as Ali Akbar Khan, Zakir Hussein, engage Vince for concerts, workshops. He goes with them to Bombay and he goes to Paris. The master of all percussion, swinging bebop, we're going to do that too. I'll tell you more about Vince as we play. The first selection is by the German composer Kurt Weill, who wrote Three Penny Opera, Mack the Knife, Knickerbocker Holiday, September Song, and then another show, One Touch of Venus. This tune comes from One Touch of Venus. It's a romantic tune, but we're going to swing it. Speak low.
by the music of Benny Goodman, the swing and the drummer Gene Krupa. And then when Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie came on the scene, most of the young kids switched to bebop and Vince would be jamming with one of the Bay Area known musicians, Vince Guaraldi, and they would go to the Fillmore area, which was the heart of jazz in San Francisco doing jam sessions at Jackson's Nook and so on. And then I think Vince told me when you were a teenager, the San Francisco beach had great entertainment. The Playland, also the, what kind of a venue was the Edgewater? Was that a ballroom or what was it? It was a ballroom but with no seats where everybody just stood and dance if they felt like it, but mostly you were standing around listening to a, a pretty good orchestra like wow. that. Wow. Yeah. You heard Woody Herman there, and you heard Chubby Jackson, and the highlight was Dizzy Gillespie, yeah, Luciano Pozo. And Stan Kenton. And Stan Kenton. And Chubby Jackson. Chubby, yeah, wow. Yeah. Those were the days. Yeah. So Vince has a colorful background, and then he switches to the music of uh, India, Turkey, Egypt. Uh, next piece is a bolero, it's from Cuba. It's written by the great Cuban composer Osvaldo Fares, Tres Palabras.
soulful song. Yeah, Coralie, wonderful. And uh, Vince gave me a little history on this, like as I mentioned, the spelling M-I-S-R, Misr, is the word, Arabic word for the country of Egypt. And Misr means Egyptian girl. What happened in 1928, a Greek American from North America put a copyright on this melody and Vince feels that he put it together. Or was it in the air? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to know. Yeah. So that was 1928, Mr. Lou. This is very close to the music of uh, the Balkans. Bosnia, Serbia, Macedonia, Bulgaria, Romania. It has klezmer elements too, but we can never forget the gypsy Romani, Romani people. Speaking of that, next tune is a mambo, but it's based on Russian folk song Ochichornaya, but it's not totally Russian. From what I understand, it's the Russian or Gypsy Roma people that wrote it. Ochi Chornaya. Vince and I recorded this tune. It's called Gypsy Roma Mambo.
roots of nature. As I mentioned in my email, world music combined with jazz uses any elements from different parts of the world, but always brings in swing, bebop, the blues feeling mixed together, Latin rhythms, in Indian rhythms, and as Vince told me, the instrument that he played, the skin instrument was dumbek. The word is Armenian, correct? And the name for the rhythm instruments in India, Hindu is tabla, correct? Yeah. And you also told me the skin from that instrument comes from the River Nile. Yes, freshwater fish. Freshwater fish. Also, the Egyptian tambourine has the River Nile skin. Before we go any further, how about a nice welcome for our swinging bass player from Belgrade, Boots on Lechak. <laughs> yes, sir, Boots on Lechak. This guy has quite a history. When he was 20 years old, he, we're holding some history back. His music history, when he was 20, he played with Clark Terry. 
at the Ljubljana festival and Clark Terry in noticed immediately said young man you have to come to America because he heard the crew and in America he played with Freddie Hubbard, Freddie Cole, he played with uh, let me, Anita O'Day. Yeah, Anita O'Day. And- <laughs> and it all night too. That's a new singer that's going to be coming. <laughs> so we'll continue now with a little Balkan funk. This comes from the album Blue Balkan Belgrade Blues. Yeah. We gotta find a singer. I need all night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
and tambourine. And how about Bursa Mechak on the bass? And it says Belgrade. The album, that's right, the album originally was released 1980 with Bobby Hutchison, Eric Golub, Paul Breslin, Eddie Marshall, and it was ahead of its time. That was the first fusion in America of Balkan music and jazz. In 2002, we added new material, put it on a CD format, and Vince was on that latter version with Tommy Kessaker and Marimba. So that came in 2002. And we're going to go now to Mexico. Yeah. The composer of this song is Carlos Almaran. He's actually a Panamanian. And it has a flamenco flavor. So Vince is going to go back to bongos. So we're going to add a little flamenco flavor. We recorded this with Jackie Ryan. Also, I recorded it on the album Tres Palabras with Peter Scovito, Tom Harrell, plus on my PBS TV show on my website video, you can see it. Beautiful tune, Historia de un Amor.
muchas gracias, señor Vicente. He speaks Spanish. Me gustan los ritmos calientes, hombre. Ah, another thing I forgot to mention. You can see some of these colorful rugs. They help the sound a little bit, although this is not a recording studio, but look at the beautiful rug that Vincent Carly brought. So speaking of the rugs, we are going back to North Africa now. A uh, great jazz pianist, Randy Weston, lived, I believe, in Morocco for a while, and he absorbed the music with that Arabic Moorish influence, and his little son was with him, and he named him after the Nile River, Little Niles. <laughs> this is an original by Randy Weston, Little Niles.
The Little Niles, Randy, Randy Weston. Uh, let's see, you feel like Boots are doing uh, Mona Lisa? <laughs> Uh, perhaps next time. Uh, next time, okay. I mean, next time. <laughs> okay. Next. All right, I'll play one. Okay, Boots I will do. I have to tell you a, a little funny story. Uh, Mona Lisa, of course, was a big hit for Nat King Cole. And then all of a sudden, could have been in the 80s, the bass player started playing a solo. And Boots did a, such a great job. So on a tour, Alexi and I, Sana, my wife, Josh, and we, had, we went to Belgrade, I think we stopped in Paris, so we went to the Louvre Museum, and I had a, one, my first cell phone, I was so excited, I ran up a high bill. So we are standing in front of Leonardo da Vinci painting, so I called Buzza in San Francisco, he answers the phone, and I said, Buzza, do you know where I am? I'm in front of Mona Lisa in Paris. <laughs> I remember it. Oh, okay. There you go. Head to something else. <laughs> Bravissimo, bravissimo, Mr. Buzza, you make the bass sing, man, to get the tone out of the bass. Beautiful, man. Mona Lisa. Yes, sir. That's exhausting, too. <laughs> Next is a composition by Vicente Delgado. It's called Hijaz City, and Hijaz is a mode, correct? And Vince told me the word in Arabic for mode is called makam. But I have to tell you, 
a funny story. Languages sometimes can get confused when somebody else hears that he thinks there is something else that he heard. Now, Vince has a group. It's an Arabic word. It means uh, uh, Al Jazair. Al Jazair, correct? It means Algeria. So Vince was hired by a guy to bring this group, Al Jazair. So during the gig, the guy walks up to Vince and he said, Which one of you is Al? <laughs> so after that, Vince dropped the word AL in front yeah. of Jazair, of course it's Jazair. But see, the, the, in front you have the word, A, I mean the letters AL, and uh, is that the new service, Al Jazeera, they have provide good new service, and there is a joke. There was a group going through the airport and, and the word algebra in English is an it's an Arabic word they created a math but could have been the Morse but it's pronounced algebra so this group was arrested at the airport algebra for carrying weapons of math instruction <laughs> okay here we go here we go Hijaz City.
Vince, that's a very hip tune, man. It really creates the beautiful atmosphere. Wow. Well, we are going to play one more selection, but before that, I always thank you for listening. And I'm glad that things are opening up slowly. However, I think streaming will remain because people all over the world can hear the music and will continue with streaming. For example, next Saturday, I'll be doing solo piano. The music of the Ukrainian heritage, Ukrainian Jewish composer Julie Stein, phenomenal tunes. It's been a long, long time. Uh, later, time after time, just in time. So many great tunes also for the film with Doris Day, Romance on the High Seas, he wrote, It's You or No One, next Saturday. And since we don't have a price or a charge at this concert. Whatever you can donate to the band, it's appreciated. Thank you very much. And we are going to do one more swinging tune, I'll tell you in a minute. Well, I might as well tell you the title. This song, Together, was written by the songwriting team, Da Silva, Brown, and Henderson. They wrote great tunes, Birth of the Blues, The Best Things in Life Are Free, a lot of, lot of songs, and this is Together, Jazz Waltz, but I like to do a swinging version. And after this tune, we will wave goodbye to you. Thank you for listening. Here is Together.
Thank you. Thank you, Alexi. Thank you, Alexi, for streaming. Cora Lee. Cora Lee. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.